out here at the Newell factory with my old beater plugged in over there checking out some of these things but today we're going to be checking out this one which is actually Dale Earnhardt Jr's old Newell it's a 2002 and it's actually for sale right now I have not been in here yet. I've only seen pictures of it. So my reaction and observation of things is completely authentic. So here we go. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see if we can find the lights in here. All right, whoa. <laughs> This is dark, real dark. <laughs> I like all the black leather in here. It looks more like a car, I think. It's really not a whole lot different than mine. It's like some things are changed up. But I've never been in one that's this dark before. Like this, I don't know what this is, but it's soft feels nice it's real nice well, i don't know what that is kind of looks like uh i don't know <laughs> i don't know what that looks like it's got some red zebra something something or other here sort of looks like uh i don't know victoria's secret changing room or something i'm not totally sure it's like this brushed looking graphite texture Something kind of unique here is there's no windows down here. This is just wall. Because uh, from what I've been told, some of the NASCAR guys don't want to have windows in their bedroom. So to like lessen the chance of people trying to like look in there, I guess, is more privacy. So that's the only window in here. Full bath in the rear. Little skate patch. Granite countertops. White shower, which is of all things to be white. I think uh I don't know how much of this is original and what isn't. This particular coach, it was originally Dale Jr.'s, and it was also owned by um a friend of mine, Andrew French, so I've met through the Newell world. They had this thing for a while, his family did. They got an 09 or something now. I don't know who owns it right now, but it's for sale by the current owner being like consigned by somebody else and kept at the factory here for people to look at it, I guess. I'm not totally sure. I can only imagine the stories that have been told in here. All the records and manuals up there. That's something important to look for if you're going to buy one of these. If this was a 2002, that would mean that it was manufactured and probably picked up in 2001. There's usually a build tag down here that'll tell you what the build date was. Oh, we see it right there. Manufactured March 2001. But this is definitely a party pad, for sure. Uh, I don't know, maybe you've heard some rumors. There is no stripper pole in here. Uh, Dale Jr. did not have a stripper pole in his motorhome. Control panel for all the stuff up here. Well, I was like both of these might flip out and do a bed. I'm not totally sure. I'm just going to sit down here. That is very nice. That's a nice couch. Just got to absorb the atmosphere, you know. The dark is cool, but like it might be a little bit too much, honestly. I don't know. I feel like I'm in like a pillow fort or something. Like I like I like dark, I like dark accents, but I also like whenever you can put um the LEDs in there and kind of have a lot of white 
because it'll absorb the color and kind of it radiates it with this thing you're not really going to be able to do that much with it from a unique lighting perspective because it's all black i guess the headliner would kind of pick up some color but this is just a, a unique configuration here let's see if there's more lights we can turn on i think they're all on well okay i guess it's just this dark in here oh wait we got some of these wow that makes a huge difference no not really <laughs> it's just dark in here so this booth deal here would slide out so you can have a full wrap around the original fridge appears to be nice and big oh that's neat even the inside of the drawers is finished with the same texture as the outside. I have not seen that before. There's the other bathroom. With weird uh, Victoria's Secret stuff going on here. Some red leather and cheetah print. Because pimp life, you know. It's pretty common with the NASCAR coaches to have a bath and a half so that you know like the driver's family and friends and stuff that are hanging out they don't have to go to the driver's bathroom way back there also being a track you know you got dirty shoes grass whatever you can walk in here on the hard surface and go or go to there or the fridge and this is all the more the foot traffic needs to be and if someone you know they can close the door back there that's its own world, self-sustained. They don't have to be bothered by anybody to use the bathroom. Especially if, like, you know, they got friends crashing on the couch or something on a race weekend. You wake up in the middle of the night, gotta poop. Like, you know, gotta walk past and disturb them. It takes up more room in here, but for a, a hosting environment, that's a really nice feature. If you're by yourself, well, you don't really need two poopers. TV up front here with more of this weird, like, cracked... I don't know exactly what to describe that as. Let's try the driver's seat here. Oh. It's quite comfortable. The NASCAR guys all have drivers that drive these and they clean them and park them at the track and whatever, like they're pretty much just lived in by the drivers. Sometimes, like uh, Al Unser Jr. told me that uh, between races he would take his coach and go to like the lake and stuff with his family, so I guess there are exceptions where they do use them, like, you know, I guess a regular person, not just for a place to stay at a track. I really like this seat. This is a comfortable seat. The backup camera, got more monitors up here. 9,000 hours on the generator. Pretty typical of a NASCAR, IndyCar coach, because not all the tracks have hookups, so they're running almost all the time. Let's do some looking around on the outside. Well, that door closes a lot nicer than mine does. I wonder if this thing has been repainted. I see some traces of like orange in some places. How insane is that? They carry the design to the back of the door. Like, who needs that? No one needs that, but it's awesome. That's one shiny engine. Super clean engine bay. Coach number 612. You can see in the last three of the VIN. Detroit diesel 12.7. Manufactured September 2000. Because these motors are made before they start laying the frame and stuff. Uh... Where it says how much power tested at 500 horsepower 2100 rpm pretty standard that's a solid motor the outer body on these is all aluminum and these older ones are riveted so they're extremely durable but here's what i was talking about there's like a piece of orange under here like 
I feel like this thing used to have a different accent color and someone resprayed the orange with white to like change the way it looked. It's down here too. We're getting all forensic on here. Either that's some kind of primer or this thing used to be orange. Ah, wait, let's check the dryer door. On mine, the dryer vent door shows over spray of the previous paint job. So let's see if this one does the same thing. Nope, no evidence here. But there's evidence of orange in here. In here. Right there. Oh, dude. This thing was totally, was originally orange. I just sent a picture to Mark Martin and asked him if he remembered this thing. He said he didn't really remember it. But he's like, I guess it could have been Junior's. He liked dark, because the inside's all dark. But that's probably why he doesn't remember it, because when this thing was on Junior's ownership, it had all kinds of orange accents on it that are no longer there. You can see it in here too. Let's see how old the tires are. See right here, DOT number 4719. These tires are like brand new, basically. Probably are brand new. They still got titties on them. This thing is prime. Almost all the ones I've looked at have tires that are out of date or almost out of date. Like three years on the steer, five years on the drive. If they're older than that, you know, you're getting into points where the rubber could be trying out. Some people do five to seven, but if you're real conservative, you do three to five, because do you really want to blow out a steer tire on a 50, 60 thousand pound bus? You're going off the road. 365 upgrade on the front. That's a big deal too. 2619, these tires are brand new. Now just for comparison's sake, this is a 2002, 2001, whatever. And that is a 2020. These, are, these three are the current body style. So you can see how different they are. We're gonna go check out some of these too. I'm gonna film a bunch of different videos while I'm here. So if you haven't seen any of those, go hit that subscribe button, go over to the channel, check them out. We're gonna dig into one of these new ones, which is easily over $2 million. And if you thought the inside of that was cool, <laughs> wait until you see this one.